Good morning, guys. So, today is starting out a typical late day for me. And uh, it's a beautiful morning. It's presently 40 degrees outside, and, and I'm loving it. I, uh, I just dropped my kids off. And that went really, really well because Grandpa went way out of his way to build something for the kids, which listening to them talk about it when we first walk in the house, is, it just makes you smile. So, quick rant. One I don't get to make very often. So, where I grew up, uh, where I li my family lives, we moved here in 1987, uh, here in the city of Olathe in the state of Kansas. And... We were the last neighborhood. Beyond us was farmland. Now today, it's miles until you see the farmland again. But that's that's not my rant. That's typical. That's that's how the the world just kind of revolves. Uh, <clears throat> the the problem I have is directly next to our neighborhood is the schools in which I grew up going to. Uh, back then it was the junior high and high school now. It's the middle school high school and then my elementary school is close to there But <clears throat> the issue is is you got to think that Late junior high or middle school kids can drive some can High school can kids definitely can so there's traffic involved Going to school that during the day Okay, not a big deal. We understand that but then Garmin comes so Garmin builds their world headquarters or their unit U.S. headquarters right across the street from our high school. So what that did is now their employees come in the same time that the high school students do. And my parents' neighborhood only has the two accesses out the front side, which happens to be the same road that the high school sit on and Garmin. And you end up sitting here like I am right now waiting for a spot to try and sneak out of here if it's even physically possible. I have sat here for large chunks of the day more than once. And it looks like my spot to go is gonna show up right now. I gotta move a little bit quickly. These guys aren't gonna give me much room. But this is typical every day. This, this turned out pretty good. Yesterday was far worse. The big secret here in this, in Olathe, is if you got to come into town or try to get through town, do it before 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7.45 right now, so I'm way behind. But if you can get through here before 7, you can get through in a matter of no time. Ooh, look at that beautiful sunlight. It's going to be a nice morning, guys. Off to work we go, and then uh, hopefully the uh, tomorrow brings something better. Hey, look. At least it's not raining. Super nice out. Who cares it's 40 degrees? That's beautiful. Just wear a coat. guys think of that uh, that sunset tonight that was uh, obviously looking west from my property which our house faces west so we get to see that every night I kind of missed it I got home a little later than expected uh, I spent a little too much time at my parents place picking up the kids and my my uh, middle kid he uh, he fell asleep in the car so I didn't want to leave him sleeping by himself so I hung out with him while he slept, and then uh, I did my best to get that, that sunset. It was a time lapse. I, I use a, a program called Lapsit Pro, and it's on my phone. I really do enjoy it. I, I'm sure there's other programs. I forget who recommended this particular one, but it really works out well for me. Here, here it is here. So, so Lapsit Pro, uh, really, it's super simple. I mean, 
you go in there, you say new capture, and then you, you set your frame rate, you aim it, and then you go with it. And you can get how many, you know, I think I was doing three frames a second, so I took like 767 frames. But uh, yeah, that's, that's something that we get to enjoy is that beautiful sunset every single night. But here's the thing. So if you do the math, you kind of can tell that, uh, so there's, there's, there's me in this house. There's my wife. There is our teenage boy. Now, by the way, they're, they're gone because today, the, the 11th, is uh, actually my son's, old, my oldest son's birthday is actually today. So mom took him to dinner at his choice tonight. And so I stayed home because I got a few things to catch up. Plus, I've had a lot, a lot going on at work and I'm pretty exhausted. I'm grateful. You know, I got a lot done today. But uh, as I was saying, so, so that's three of us. And then you add on our middle child and the youngest one now. So that, that equals five people. And not that that's a big deal, but something you don't understand or maybe don't, you don't even know is that this house, this is, I have 940 square feet. It's not the biggest house. It is a small farm home. In fact, I bought it from the man who whose parents built the house themselves. In fact, his name, uh, I was doing some construction and he wrote his name on some of the wood on the original uh, construction that we saw as I was redoing a few things here in the house to improve them. But, uh, so five people in this house makes it really difficult. It hasn't been a huge amount of trouble because the two youngest kids are pretty young and we can keep them together. The oldest one wants his privacy in his own room and then there's me and mom, and we don't even sleep in the same room together. We, we actually sleep in separate rooms because I can't have people moving around or I'm immediately awake. I don't sleep as it is, and so I sleep in another part of the house just because uh, she, she likes when I get my rest. But uh, today, we're looking at a new house. Let's just be straightforward. We're looking at a new farm. Uh, it's... I call it a farm, I call it a ranch, I call it, you know, name it anything A to Z, uh, because it's my home. We raise animals here, I mean, that's what a farm is, but technically, we have less than 10 acres, just, just a little bit less than 10 acres, and we're looking at a piece of property that has more acreage, but that's, that's not the thing. The house square footage is almost 4,000 square feet. It would, uh, it would be four times uh, what we live in today and we can't figure out what to do with that but it's affordable it's in my price range and that's not the only good part uh, the good part is is the acreage although narrow and long like the property I live on now it backs all the way up to a nearby lake and it's a big lake it's also a very deep lake uh, I see a lot of boats out there quite regularly and we go f swimming and fishing there as a family so it's kind of exciting I mean we're we're really considering this idea to just give up this farm to go get a bigger, better, badder one. When we bought this house, we didn't intend to have this kind of family all of a sudden. Understand, I, I call Jaden is his name. He, uh, I call Jaden my son. Yeah, I'm actually a stepdad. He has a father who lives over in Missouri, and uh, he he lives here with us now. So when we bought this house, it was just Jenna and I, my wife and I and she became pregnant. Lo and behold, it was kind of an exciting time. I was getting to figure out what it's like to be a dad. I got this day was coming soon. And then uh, one thing led to another. Next thing I know, uh, we have a teenager who had to fairly abruptly move in with us and make this his home. It was a, it was a difficult transition. And then, so he moves in full time and weeks, if not a couple months later, we have a baby. So now I have a teenager I'm learning how to live with and I've got a newborn. And that was the hardest ride of my entire life. So this house wasn't built for how we got this. Literally within less than nine months, we went from the two of us to a family of four. So you can understand, <laughs> we need to add on or we need a bigger house. The problem is an add-on's 80 some thousand dollars for what we want or what we need to add on. And for 80 some thousand dollars extra on top of what I already have, I can go buy me a nice bigger home. 
One that's uh, apparently four times the size of the one I'm living in. So, I'm a little distant tonight. If you don't know, today is the 11th day of October. This is going to be my 11th video that I put out. This is more videos than I've probably ever put out. And it's challenging, but at the same time, it's really awesome. I've got a lot of good things from good friends, and I've really enjoyed working with the other vloggers and YouTubers that have been out there working with us. So I just want to give a quick shout out to some of the folks out there that have been uh, kind of, I don't know how to put it, they've been my cheerleaders for the past few days as I'm struggling to get these videos together. And to Roger, Darren, Judith, and Kevin, who've all given good support, these guys are all also doing the same thing. They're part of the Vlogtober team. Uh, out of the... What do I have here? Out of the, bring it all the way to the top. Oh, out of the 28 who signed up, it has been primarily just us four or five who continuously have kept the flow. And not that I'm uh, putting anybody else down. Their work is also appreciated and we're glad to have them here. I'm just naming off the few that I, I know daily and I've come to get to know them. Uh, one of them, uh, Darren, lives in Australia. Absolutely great guy. He's, uh, I'm not, I didn't ask his age, I'm not even sure, but easily relatable person. I've enjoyed listening to all of his content. Roger, out in uh, Utah. The guy is the luckiest man on earth. Utah is a beautiful place. I go there, uh, especially if we're off-roading, four-wheeling, something like that. Moab, Utah, happens to be one of my favorite places to visit. But then I'm not exactly sure where he is, but he showed us video the other day of the mountains in the background all covered in snow already. And I, uh, I got excited. I'm like, man, I need to get back to the mountains. I need to take a vacation and head back to the mountains. I need to see the snow again. So... Who knows, that, that's probably going to come up. <laughs> probably probably not in October since I just took last week off. But I'd say before the end of the year, you know, we're going to have to go see the mountains and uh, get a little adventure in out there before it gets too deep. But to those guys, to Judith, to Darren, to Kevin, and to Roger, guys, I thank you for your support. And I'm glad you're part of my channel and I'm excited to be part of your channel and together we're growing each other's channels and learning from one another so shout out to you guys for all your hard work keep it up and for today I'm gonna wrap my video up because I've got some things I'd like to get done tonight but uh, tomorrow's another day I look at this I, I told my wife I never know what to do it about this if you don't know my wife's a nurse and she got through nursing school by taking notes and what this is is every one of these lines is an idea of something I can talk about she's incredible I mean absolutely incredible she tried joining us on this but she wants to do it all via her cell phone and, and she can but her phone is giving her the problems we can't figure out why it won't export the videos She's got them made, but it's not exporting anything. When I finally do figure it out, you're probably going to get a whole list of videos that pop up. But, uh, all right, guys. Sorry, this is uh, a little bit more scattered out tonight. I wanted to speak my piece and thank those of whom have been working with me this whole time. And uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. I hope you all have a good one. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.